New Mexico football great Brian Erlacher has become the first Mountain West player in the league's history to be selected for enshrinement to the National Football Foundation College Football Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Stormy Bonantoni with your Mountain West Daily for January 9th. Erlacher is also the first Lobo in program history to earn the honor. Erlacher had a stellar four-year career at UNM, capped off by a 1999 senior season in which he was tabbed a consensus first-team All-American. Behind one of the greatest seasons in Lobo history, not only was he named the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year as a hybrid linebacker and free safety, but was a three-way player, also playing wide receiver and returning punts. Erlacher was selected ninth overall by the Chicago Bears in the 2000 NFL Draft and would go on to set the Bears franchise record in tackles with 1,353 over his 13 years with the team. San Diego State legend Marshall Falk is also among the 10 inductees to the 2017 College Football Hall of Fame class. Playing with the Aztecs from 1991 to 93 pre-Mountain West inception, Falk earned All-America honors in each of his three seasons, including consensus All-America recognition twice. The three-time Heisman Trophy finalist still owns the FBS record for points per game while ranking among the top 10 in rushing yards per game and all-purpose yards per game. The number two pick overall in the 1994 NFL Draft, splitting his 12-year career between the Indianapolis Colts and St. Louis Rams. Falk is a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame for his storied professional career and is in the Colts Ring of Honor. Nevada basketball pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in college basketball history on Saturday night in a 105-104 overtime road win in the pit. The Wolfpack trailed by as many as 25 points with 11 minutes left in regulation, 19 with 4 minutes to go, and down a whopping 14 points with just over a minute left on the clock. Nevada players drained five straight three-pointers to tie it up at the end of regulation, and sophomore Jordan Caroline, who led the comeback charge with a career-high 45 points on the night, pulled up and sank the game-winning three in overtime. Caroline, who recorded his seventh double-double of the season, second in as many games, adding 13 rebounds, was also honored this morning as both the Mountain West Player of the Week and NBC Sports National honoree for his outstanding performance. The 25-point rally is the eighth-largest second-half comeback in NCAA history. Another player from the other side of the Silver State, UNLV's Troy Baxter, was featured as the number two play on SportsCenter's Top 10 Saturday. Despite falling on the road 79-63 at Utah State, Baxter cleared a lane and drove home a monster dunk early in the second half. Not enough to get the win for the Rebels, but an impressive play nonetheless. More in men's basketball, Colorado State head coach Larry Eustachy reached a major career milestone on Saturday. The Rams topped Air Force 85-58 at home in Moby Arena, marking Eustachy's 500th career victory as a head coach. He had some fun after the game celebrating and dancing with his team, even threw in a little dab, which really got his team going. With the win, the Rams improved to 11-6 on the year and 3-1 in conference action. And congratulations to Coach Eustachy on the milestone, now in his fifth season guiding the Rams. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Stormy Bonantoni.